Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is GTA Capone and welcome to the Man Cave. The reason for this video is I have just got a new addition to the Man Cave. This is the drone one. It has 14 megapixels camera uh, for taking pictures and it's full HD 1080p. I'm going to be doing some videos with it. I didn't get the version with the sky controller. So with this drone you can operate it with your phone or your tablet or an Android device and stuff like that. And So I found yeah it's pretty good but the biggest problem I found is it goes out of range. If you have the sky controller, apparently you're supposed to be able to fly up to two kilometers away. This actually sends out its own Wi-Fi and then your phone or your tablet picks up the Wi-Fi and then you're able to control it. But what happens is as soon as it gets a certain distance away, maybe about 20, 30 meters, I lose control of it. It doesn't respond to the inputs. And this is my solution. First of all, you need a few parts. You need your Bebop drone, a Netgear, well you don't have to have this particular one, but this is a Netgear Universal Wi-Fi Range Extender. This model is the WN2000RPT version, version 3. A high energy 11.1 volt 96 amp maximum continuous discharge battery. So, you can see that there. The reason why I picked this one, because most range extenders, they, have, they will have a plug on the end, which you plug into the wall, and you need to be able to power this. What I've made is one of these, yeah? What this has is a connection to the battery terminal at the end. I basically use the same wire that comes with the root, with the Wi-Fi extender, I've just cut off the end of the adapter plug and I've basically created a terminal is positive and negative which goes to the battery. This goes together like that. Okay, then what will happen, I put some Velcro strips on the back of here and a Velcro strip on the back of here and so that basically sticks to, sticks to that there like, like that upside down that sticks to there like that what happens is I now plug this into here like this and now we've got power to the router so to the to the Wi-Fi extender this is a mad cats mad cats mad cats controller anyway one of these uh, screen I'm using my iPhone this is an iPhone 6 6 plus so I'm going to be using this as well this is transmitting to this and then this is transmitting to this and then with the controller now this works via Bluetooth so you then use this to change your inputs and controls to this okay so let's put it all together and test it this is the battery that comes with the drone and the battery, basically, you've got that terminal on the inside there. It's a bit fiddly, so you put, sorry, I'll try and do this in the screen. So you put that in there. That goes in there like that. Okay, so that connects up in there like that. Then what happens is you make sure your tab is out and you basically slide your battery up there like that hold that in place right what parrot have done is they've given you velcro straps so you basically strap the velcro there like that for some reason they didn't make it so the battery holds but I, apparently the bebop 2 if you want to get that one it, that doesn't have this velcro strap so you basically feed that through there hold your tab at the top there feed that through there and you pull that tight and strap it there like that so your battery is now secure okay so that's now on there like that 
then what you do well I've done this already your battery is connected to there then your Mad Cat's controller with your iPhone or whatever you're going to use you now put that on top of there oops like that right and so there you have it there you have your controls to fly your craft like that so this is what that is seeing right there so, so that's what that's what the drone is displaying there's a slight delay there'll be a slight delay because it's now transmitting from the Wi-Fi from the drone to the Wi-Fi to the controller so now that we've done all that well um we'll go outside and we'll test it